We're the agency responsible for producing key economic indicators, things like GDP, personal income, trade, uh, data points that have been produced by the government since the early 1930s uh, and are, are, are key market sensitive information that come out every month and, and in some cases every week. So the interesting thing for us is we've been doing big data since long before big data was cool. In fact, what specifically we do is something called national accounting. And I often say national accounting was big data before there was big data. Back in the 1930s, you had all these interesting data points, things like how many freight cars were moving and how many ships came into a port, but none of that told a comprehensive story. And so national accounting was the way that you put all that stuff together in a consistent framework and then resulting in specific measures, things like national income and later GDP. So it's became this framework through which we took a lot of disparate data and put it together in, in a way that we can consistently understand it each month. So flash forward to current era where we now have infinitely more data points. I mean, as, a, as an agency for which producing and disseminating data are both key parts of our mission, uh, part of what was interesting for us was the Socrata platform presented some, some interesting opportunities, but we also already had this platform that we used. And so part of it was really kind of exploring what is it that, uh, that, that, that Socrata could allow us to do differently, more efficiently? How do we deal with some of the, the you know, moving around some of, you know, when we're talking about a database that contains, you know, millions and millions of data points each month that represent the entirety of the, of the activity in the U.S. economy, while Big data is often big. These are these are particularly big data sets, and so understanding how to move them around, how could we uh, ensure that 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 if somebody is looking at something through the Socrata platform that's coming from us, that we're ensuring that it's constantly current. So a lot of it was really kind of working out how do we how do we work together and how do we lo logistically how do we handle this big data. I also think that one of the interesting aspects here is how do you bring this data into a, a functional value for more people? Where I think there is. A different and interesting and what I think is one of the more interesting and challenging aspects for us is our customers are everyone. We don't get to build for a certain sector or for a certain customer. Um, we have to have a website that serves both the super sophisticated audience while also serving the completely unsophisticated audience. So the fact that, that, there's, that the spectrum is not targeted at this audience or that audience, you know, as a communicator one of the first things we're of course taught is who are we trying to talk to and what is our objective? And here the interesting answer is everyone in all things. And so how do you build a platform that answers everyone in all things? Ultimately, my view is, is that when you come to our website in the future uh, and you, uh, you click on that dashboard, uh, it won't be a product that we've built in-house. It'll be a product that we've worked with a company like Socrata uh, to fully develop. And I think part of the reason for that is, is that this is an environment that changes so rapidly that we'll never really be able to keep up. And so the best way we can do that is to work with a company like Socrata that's at the forefront of, uh, of, of open data and data dissemination.